Mitchell, here we go. Well, Kai Kata France probably could have been a professional rugby league player if he so chose. We're thankful that he chose mixed martial arts. And even though there have been some setbacks, including a fight against Brandon Moreno for the interim UFC Flyweight Championship, no one in the MMA space would argue that this is not one of the more well-rounded flyweights in the world. Packs of power to be sure. If any 125-pounder has that death touch, other than the former champ Davison Figueredo, who has moved up, it's probably Kai Kata France, and he believes his power is going to win the day here tonight in this matchup against a fellow flyweight contender. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner, Steve Astrobar! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Kai Douglas. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Good. All right, big matchup in front of Kai Kata France tonight as we get to the early round action here. He has reeled off several consecutive wins. That set up an interim flyweight championship opportunity. And on any given Saturday night, a lot of people talk about Kata France as one of the more powerful flyweights in the world. But he's also one of the more well-rounded guys in the division. And he believes it is going to be that well-versed skill set that ends up getting him his hand raised here tonight. One-two there by Ursa. So there it is, the kickboxer successfully defends the first takedown attempt by the more balanced fighter. He said he might have to play defense early, did it well there. Well, he's expecting the wrestler to fatigue. As the takedowns fail, he starts to get more tired. Then he will let his hands go, elbows go, knees go, and use all of his weapons to try and finish this fight. Swing and a miss by Kata Fronts. Back and forth we go. with the right hook. Midway through round one. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Eats a jab there. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Nice hook there. He's hurt bad. Oh! Somehow his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches. Couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big right hand. 
Now we're going. Ursage is now dealing with a cheat cut. Round two straight ahead. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Yeah, there you go. Good shot, good shot. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Beautiful technique off a straight right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters in. Oh, he is stunned trying to recover here. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Good work, Hook to the head by Ursa. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Stuff to take down, no problem. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Pretty significant well to the left side. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Two minutes remain in the round. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes. Oh! That was a slick transition. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, so look at that. A cut has been big, big shots landed by him now. In the half guard. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, so good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. Oh, 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 he's in trouble. Back to the feet. Oh, nice he's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Final seconds here of round two. Oh. Ten minutes oh. in the oh. books. Oh. Wow, what a round it was. There's the horn, two knockdowns. Certainly a 10-8 is plausible. We'll see if his opponent can make some adjustments here. It's gonna be tough. J.A., I thought it was over. Yeah. I thought it was over. I was yelling, it's over, it's over. After the first knockdown, dude gets up and gets knocked down again. He understands now he has a very tough competitor in front of him, but he needs to stay patient, go find another big shot. But one perfect shot shuts the lights off. It's only gonna take one of those to finish the fight. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Third round underway. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the US. Right 
hook to the head block. Well, he was setting up the hooks early and often tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. Ursay is closing up now. Not good for him. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just misses with the left hook. Another one. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if you really go for it offensively, you get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Just unable to quite find that range. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really light off that. Oh, what a connection right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Oh, he's opening up on him now. Under a minute now to go. Kata France has got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Try to establish that jab. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. It's a beautiful kick lands. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's go inside the octagon now. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kaito Great Kara Franz. All right, so Don't Blink is the nickname, and... You better not have tonight. Kai Kata France, your winner by knockout. That is a huge result for this young man. Huge result, something that we're starting to expect from him. Because